Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn. This is episode 6 of the Time Bomb Countdown series. In the last episode we set up this new district. We also finished setting up a couple of bot park factories and you can see we have some beaver bots charging right over here. We also started setting up some water pumps. We are going to line the entirety of this in order to get the most water suction possible. If you're new to this series we had about five cycles to get all of this infrastructure set up in order for us to avoid getting flooded. There are some water spawners down here and it filled this whole section up and then it slowly zigzagged all the way over before it was spilling out through these. And that took a little bit over four cycles and then it filled this up and we blocked off this area but the water would only be going through here. And if you want to see how I did that, check out the link in the description to the entire playlist. So let's get a few more water pumps set up and it will take them a little bit to build this since these take quite a few logs and planks. But that's okay because we still need to get some more beavers here. We only have 15 right now. So we gotta get some more breeding pods set up, get them babies made. And it looks like right now we have the drought incoming. But that shouldn't be a problem since we have plenty of water right over here. Okay, these beavers have plenty to build over here. I'm just trying to cram as much in that will help them out. Okay, the drought is just beginning, but we don't have too much to worry about with these water pumpers and plenty more getting ready to be constructed. You know, I just realized we have no storage for grilled potatoes, which is kind of hard to believe considering we have all this storage over here. So let's get that set up right now. And this district just needs stuff to build, so we can probably have them help out building stuff right on the edge of the two districts. I just realized that this would actually be an excellent place to do some aquatic farming if you put a dam right here. And you can see the beaver bots are already starting to build it. It does look like we have four unemployed beaver bots, so let's try and find something for them to do. Okay, I think we're good on planks for now. We're doing really good on gear, so we can switch that. That means that we could probably put the beaver bots in here. Oh, and now we have a bunch of unemployed beavers. You know, we could actually migrate them to the next district because they are in need of some workers. Now, these guys have some unemployed beavers, so let's unpause this stuff. So let's get a hauling post because that will help construct some stuff and also help just get things moved around a little bit more efficiently. These guys have enough wood and planks to keep building stuff, so that's good. We do have some more trees growing. Oh, we could probably get a couple lumberjack flags over here. Oh, nice. The wood is finally grown. We have plenty of trees over here, which means that we should probably get some more lumberjack flags. Because we actually have an unemployed beaver in this district. We have about eight engines, give or take a few, and none of those need beavers to run because they get supplied wood from the hauling post. So those just keep running. Man, these beaver bots don't know when to quit. They will run themselves into the ground. Oh, we only have three open beds, which means we should get some more housing set up. We have part of the first row complete. That means it is time to expand this even more. We'll just place a bunch of side platforms here. And line it with more water pumps. So the district is well in range of all this, which means we can just keep going for quite a while. We will need to get some more storage, so maybe we can set that up. Okay, we are going to start ramping up the water storage, although we will need to get some metal blocks and gear sent over here, so we're going to have to sort that out right now. Okay, you guys, as you can see, they did finish the dam right here. We're going to set this up so we can get some aquatic farmhouses. Need to unlock that for 150 science. Place those there. Oh, that reminds me, we need to get some more science. And this costs 1,500. You're only at 1,100 right now. So we're going to save up and figure out where we're going to place it in the meantime. So I just got rid of a couple storage units here that weren't being utilized very well. And I think this will be the perfect place to place the number cruncher. And you can see these guys are ready to start planting. Unfortunately, the water has not quite returned, but we can set up where they will plant. Probably start out with something like this. If we need more crops, we can plant them. If we need more farmhouses, we can also make those. And I think that it is time we move these water pumpers to over here because this is always gonna have some water and we won't need to pause these like we do the other ones. 
So in this district it looks like we are pretty low on planks and we actually have a couple unemployed beavers. I think it's time we unpause this. We also need to fit in a second water wheel and connect the power shaft. Means we need to get rid of this one. Ooh, awesome. It looks like we got some cattail and spatter dock planted. We can probably extend this a little bit actually. Oh wow, we have 37 bots. I did not realize we had that many. We have some of them are just sitting on their butts. We have to find a better spot for them. And I was just about to unlock this, but I realized that we have over one and a half thousand science, and that means we can unlock the number cruncher. So this is a setup we're gonna have. We're gonna have another grist mill here to prepare the cattail, number cruncher to get some more science, and then another engine because we might be short on power during the dry season when we don't have these water wheels turning. And then we have this space which we can put something if needed, but for now we're just going to leave it. Looks like we're running on planks and gears again in this district, so bots are going back in those workshops. The number cruncher was put in just a few days ago and it's already gotten us back up to one and a half thousand science. And with that we're going to get a couple bridges unlocked because we need to get across this little ravine here. The maple has finally grown up and not a moment too soon because we only have like 18 wood in this district. And they're also super short on planks, but we do have a lumber mill set up so that way we can get some more planks created. Okay, it's been quite a few days and we are actually running into a food problem on this side of the river. We do have food being delivered over there, but the problem is that there's so many beavers that they just can't deliver enough. So we have a second distribution post being created and we're also getting some crops planted but you can see there are a lot of hungry beavers. Thankfully it looks like some of the carrots are almost ready to be harvested. That in combination with this new distribution post should be enough to get them not starving. Plus we're having a little bit of a berry shortage. As you can see the breeding pods are not being sustained. So right now we have a bit of a plank shortage in this district. We are hovering right around zero planks, and all of these take 25, which means we're going to be short for quite a while, so we have these wood workshops set up right here, and we have a couple more that are in production as we speak. The excellent thing is that we have plenty of food in this district, and that means no more hungry beavers. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.